different kind of video this week. Um, me and George, we are actually on our way to Kiso to a horse auction. Um, I have a couple of horses that we're really interested in. We have already looked at the x-rays with the vet and now we are going to go and have a look at them in the stable and then maybe bid on one? Who knows? Exciting. Maybe not exciting. Who knows? We'll, we'll just I'll take you with us. See how we get on. So we are nearly there and I am getting really excited. And I mustn't because that is when you end up spending more money on a horse than you'd like to. Sod it, buy them all. Sod it, buy them all. If only we could buy them all. But no, there is one particular horse that we're really excited about. Um, I have been studying x-rays with great scrutiny. And I've started to know what I'm looking at, which is really great, because I never used to know what I was looking at. You've got to go that way. Yeah. Straight on, with the man with the red shirt. Oh, and then he drove driven something. But yeah, we're quite excited. This could be very interesting. Uh, this is a three-year-old auction, so every horse is three years old. There's lots of stallions, there's lots of very big breeding. The horse that we're actually looking at isn't the most like well-known breeding, but it is a very nice little horse. And it's quite little, not too little. A horse, not a pony, but yeah, who knows? So we have just arrived at Kiso and we are going to go and find the stables where all the horses are so that we can have a look. It is half past six. The auction doesn't start before half past seven, depending on when the big class finishes, because there's a two star show running here today. So potentially it might be even later than that. So we will see. Off we go. <laughs> since I bought Kenko for 500 pounds and that was a disaster. <laughs> I hope you're a bit better. You're lovely. You're a bit hot, aren't you? She was eating some dry oats when we turned up earlier, so <laughs> you went quite fast in the ring, but she got better and better as she jumped. And yeah, I'm just so excited. And now I need to work out how I'm gonna pick her up. I don't even have a horse box, have you got a horse box? I haven't, you're gonna have to ride her home. I'm gonna have to ride her. <laughs> 
So uh, we just watched the rest of the auction and we're going to go home. We just had a little wee. Successful evening. <laughs> Successful evening. Her name is Lazora. So I think she's going to be called Zora. What do you think? Or Wizardora. Or Wizardora. No, that's a bit <laughs> weird. Uh, I'm going to come and get her tomorrow. So this vlog will continue in the morning. My phone's going to die because I've been so excited messaging everybody. But yeah, I'm going to go and see if I can buy an apple in the cafe. I don't even know. She might not even know what one is. She probably doesn't know what apples are. Anyway. She will soon. She will. See you tomorrow. Come an apple. Hi. Oh, yeah. Good girl. Is that nice? Take it steady. And you're going to be so happy, little Zora. <laughs> So I've just arrived at Ichizo. Oh, so excited. I'm so excited. She's not excited. Uh, I'm going to go and find Zora. Um, and yeah, load her up. I forgot to bring her a hay net. It's such a panic. I've not brought a hay net. I'm such a bad owner. She's going to hate me from the word go. Not a good start. She's in there somewhere, but uh, there's nobody here. I need to go and find a human. Hmm. Hello, my girl. Hi, little sausage. Oh, we need to take these plants out, huh? Not nice and wearing the plants. You good girl. Did you sleep okay? Did ya? Okay, there she is. She's a bit upset, so we better get going. But uh, we are on our way home. We are stuck in the worst traffic, and she is being so good. And I feel so bad for her. She didn't even have a bucket in her stable. She did not have a bucket all night. We need to get her home. Back to when we found weekend jobs when we got paid. We'd buy cheap spirits and drink them straight. Me and my friends have not thrown up in so long. Oh, how we've grown. But I can't wait. Go home. But I can't wait. person is a bit excited to have a new person. Kenko's having her lady bits looked at today by the vet. You're going to be scanned, aren't you? And then we'll know a bit more what's going on. You've not even got too fat in the field, which is really great. One's brother overdosed. One's already on his second wife. One's just barely getting by, but these people raise me and I can't wait to go home and now I'm on my way. more like this because the angle is always oh, like that and that's bad angle we're trying to angle like this she's currently eating her bed um uh hun what are you doing that's shavings okay i mean anything's better than those dry oats you were getting i suppose so whatever takes your fancy we've got a lovely pile of hay over there Oh, I think she's worked the water out. It's all over the walls, so that's good. I'm gonna try and take our plats out now. They put out like a, this is quite good, this is good for the vlog. Emily asked, how does it work? So, what happens is, a few weeks before the auction, uh, they put out like a, what's it called? Like a booklet, basically, of like what they got. And then you, so you can watch videos online and I'll put her sale video in there. 
Curly hair. Bless her, you must feel better now, beautiful girl. I mean, stop eating shavings. Let's get you some chaff instead of shavings. How about that? Not like you weren't on shavings. Weird. Weird. Maybe that's why they sold her. Because she eats shavings. So I don't know if I've mentioned it on video. I can't remember. Um, Zora's been being fed oats. Like, just oats. They were dry. There was just a lot of them. And I'm sure it's because they've got to have them looking super flash for the sale, but she's three years old. She does not need that in her life. This is what we have now. Replace that with just some chaff. Very boring, very necessary. Let's go to the field. Come on. I really want this horse to just be in the routine with everything else. So we're gonna see if we can go in the field. Oh, I'm going to show us some of your fancy moves. Counting days, counting days since my love up and got lost on me. And every breath that I've been seen it's all a bit exciting. Obi, you showing us your big flashy trot too, hon. Day one, first casualty. Thankfully just the fence, not the horse. Don't go near it, please. There's a nail sticking out. Oh, Jesus. Good one, hun. We have also got to remember, she actually only arrived in the country Tuesday at five o'clock in the morning. It is now Thursday. <laughs> That's a lot of moving and a lot of change and a lot of being chased about. You know, every, everyone's got a lundrip in their hand. I don't, obviously. But this is their life. They, these auction horses, this is what happens. They do get quite chased. So we just need to spend some time not chasing her. And uh, hopefully she'll settle down and be a really lovely horse. She's got such a kind nature that I'm hoping that she just comes around to the idea that we're friendly and not going to chase her about and then everything will be great. Let's hope. I'm now just waiting for the vet, for Kenko. Um, she's going to come and scan Kenko and see where she's at in her cycle and then yeah that's going to be the end of today's video. I won't take you with me teaching all day because it'll be a very long video. And the main reason that you were here today was to meet Zora. So we did that. Oh God, I just never know what we're looking at. So that is her uterus. That big brown bit. The bit where it looks a bit, and it looks kind of like the segments of an orange. Yes. Looking down at orange. That's one angry there, that's her right angry. She's got a big circle there. Interestingly, she actually looks like she's coming in season, but her cervix doesn't. And are we looking at being chilled? Yeah, I think so, yeah. It won't be frozen, I don't think. This is so exciting. So we scanned her and she's actually ovulating tomorrow. So we're gonna inseminate her tomorrow. I can't believe how straightforward this is being. And then we're gonna have a look in her cervix with this big metal tube. Poor girl. So I've left my pencils somewhere. I think I have to do it via... Um... Oh, your phone. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Oh, goodness me, this is exciting, isn't it? Hi Obi. Uh, I didn't think I had luck. I didn't think it was part of my genes at the moment, but apparently I do. So basically, Kenko, slightly sedated, she's much nicer when she's like this, um, is ovulating tomorrow. So I've spoken to Shirley Light at Brendan Stud, and they're going to send the semen this afternoon, and it will arrive tomorrow, and we'll inseminate her tomorrow, and all looks fine. I mean, what? Since when does that happen? I feel like, I feel like that's too good to be true. Anyway, 
Um, that is the end of today's video. Uh, I've got to go and do some riding. I'm going to go and catch Zora in in a sec. And Obi because they're not very settled in the field. Because Obi wants to be with the mares and the mares have no interest in Obi. So yeah, I hope you like this week's video. I certainly bloody did. What fun this has been. What an exciting couple of days I've had. Uh, for once. So if you did like my video, please like it, share it. All of those lovely things that you're able to do. And I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. I'm so happy. Bye for now. Even though I'm nothing, she'll be done.